Good day to you guys. So this is again re-reviews with another unboxing diary of Hot Toys Iron Man Mark 7 black and gold version. Now this is very expensive, very limited, and it's essentially the Mark's a recolored version of a Mark 7. So without further ado, let's open this up. Typical diecast style box and yeah I'll be posting the the price for this because right now I'm not sure how much I got it for but it is expensive more expensive than I expected but hey this Iron Man limited stuff they look good so let me take off everything just lay it on the table and let's see what it looks like so I'm sorry to inter to insert this but while taking off this back flap this one just fell off just broke off just like that and it's still in the box man and I thought that I could just insert it but it's actually a break it just broke off so it's supposed to be here to stick here and there's just no way to insert it and man I thought that it's one of those adjustable flaps but this one is actually stiff so right off the bat I'm gonna glue this it's kind of really surprising and disappointing considering the price oh man Hot Toys the price is not really about the quality man <laughs> and we are back I've also glued it and it was hard it was not easy to glue at all I, I'm not even sure if it's gonna stand anyway the Iron Man figure I've been making fun of Hot Toys for acting like, uh, what they call that, like mobile games with their different reskins and such. But I've never owned a Mark 7. And admittedly, the old one, the Avengers Mark 7, it's kind of outdated. So I thought of getting a more updated one, despite being the reskin. And I don't need the Tony head sculpts and the, the other modes and such. And yeah, I keep on saying it. But it's an Iron Man figure, and black and gold is just a beautiful color. So, the accessories, well, there's quite a, there's only a few as expected for this reskins. Yeah, uh, this is the repulsor hands, and these are like the laser gloves, which I've never used before. I've never had this before. So I guess it goes like this, for the laser cutter. Wait a minute. It doesn't seem to go in peacefully <laughs> so I would take my time with this but I think yeah these are the like the laser oh man they just won't go in yeah <laughs> I'll mess with it later <laughs> so these are various like thigh missiles uh, yeah, like the, the blaster hands, I guess. The, the, the missile hands, the missile arms, I mean. Forearms. And probably shoulder plates. I'm not sure what these are. I, I have to, to check. So, it's the shiniest Iron Man I ever owned. The silver and chrome one, the chrome and red one, I thought was shiny but this one this is a this is shinier in the sense that it's more also of a fingerprint magnet at the same time <laughs> but other than that it's an expensive reskin as most Iron Man reskins are so let's try out some of the accessories and I'll be back okay finally i got to pose and i'm telling you right now obs has a problem it freezes my camera randomly and not only does obs has a problem this figure has a problem this figure has a lot of quality issues man okay so as i was posing this i was so impressed with it you know that the interchangeable thigh plate the aggressive looking armor this is like you know the most uh, uh what you call it down to earth but badass ready for war armor i understand why this is like every a lot of people's favorite mark 7 uh armor the mark 7 
It is my first, first Mark 7 and I love the design. That was my first impression when I first saw it. I just love its design, man. It's like peak Iron Man but still realistic enough. So, okay. Why is this post awkwardly? Okay, let me tell you about the problems. Everything in here breaks. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I mean, it just breaks. Okay, first and foremost, these lasers, yeah, they're okay. You know, it's hard to install them. Uh, you might need to use a force and there's a big chance you would break it. And it's really hard to install them to the point that I cannot take this off any longer. I fear that I might break this tab here because every other tab broke, okay? So my the first thing I did was that I, I, I put in this four arm missiles, okay? Ah, sorry for the camera not focusing. Yeah, but these four arm missiles, man. And turns out they don't accommodate every other arm except for this laser arm it only accommodates that every other arm it doesn't accommodate and what happens if you mistakenly experiment and put in like this arm while you have the forearm missiles this tab here breaks like this one i reglued all of the arms man of the hands i mean i reglued this armor plate see it's still flimsy because i did not glue it right the glue hasn't dried i have i have to like squish it or something for it to to dry right so all of this forearm plates in this hand when i inserted the, the it with, along with the with the forearm missile came off and broke not just like came off it really broke now i have to glue them and it's so annoying, especially of how much this costs. Okay, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I know the pose is awkward because the reason why this thigh plates, see, I was touching this, but the other one was the one who came off. So the thigh plates are not secure at all. It's fragile as hell. Like you won't know what will make them come off. It's just so random, man. It was such... I, it was so hard for me to post this figure. That's why it looked bad. Because aside from the size limitations of this laser... See what I mean? See what I mean? So how can you have a good experience with a beautiful figure that just keeps falling apart by its own volition? And since it's die cast and all, and the base is slippery, the base is very, very beautiful, but it is slippery as hell. Wait a minute. Paid. This is, you know, a collector's edition for collector's edition's sake. I don't think I've handled a flimsier Iron Man than this limited black gold edition Mark Seven. I don't know why the quality issues in here are worse than all the Iron Man I have ever owned. So massive, massive disappointment there. Could have been my favorite figure. I mean, design-wise, it is. It, it is beautiful. Uh, it has interchangeable, like if you want it more, less prominent, you can change it into silver, the, the, the thigh plate. I hope this holds. Yeah. Yeah, if you want it, the, the gold to be more muted, that, that there's an option for the silver plate there. And my camera has a hard time focusing it, aside from it freezing all the time, OBS freezing all the time. Yeah, it is very shiny though. It is a crowd pleaser. It would catch attention because it is Iron Man. But as I said, this is probably like not a very good posing experience for me. Lucky though, I'll just be posing it in my Hall of Armor and then moving on. But other than that, yeah, it's a Mark 7. Quality issues. So if that's a big deal for you, if you're like 90% of people who buy expensive things, you kind of have a quality like expectations for that. And you know, my, my expectations are very low because I'm very easy to please. 
But this one, this just gave me a bad experience. Everything just came off the... Oh, look. See this one? Yeah, it came off. Now, so I have to look for it because I was gluing it. And apparently, this one, yeah, it didn't stick. I'm sorry, it doesn't focus, man. Yeah, it came off just because I inserted this while I was using the forearm missiles. So, I don't know. It's very, very punishing. I don't know. Good figure. It's a collector's edition. But do I rec recommend it? Honestly, hell no. L wait for them to release, reissue a more upgraded Mark 7 because Hot Toys will do it. Hot Toys will do anything Iron Man. Other than that, yeah, I hope you've learned something. I'm sorry that this, uh, this turned out to be some sort of a rant. But yeah, have a nice day, everyone.